Hi, welcome on uh, platform of your PD education and uh, today I'm going to discuss with you one of the uh, joint collaboration PhD program between IIT Delhi and uh, University of Queensland that is in Australia somewhere around Brisbane so uh, you know many of you uh, desire and aspire to do PhD from foreign universities and uh, as I uh, discussed in many of the videos related to foreign admission like uh, you need to spend money from your pocket if you want to go abroad for PhD course uh, though it is a scholarship course but still you need to have four to five lakh rupees in your pocket if you want to go abroad for pursuing your PhD uh, suppose you don't have even that money and still you want to go abroad then the only option left with us is if you join some IIT and through some uh, collaboration program we go to those universities like Monash scholarship is there with IIT Bombay and similarly Queensland scholarship is there with uh, IIT Delhi so uh, Queens University of Queensland is in Australia and uh, if you get into this uh, program joint program between IIT Delhi and uh, Queensland then a uh, couple of years you will be spending in Australia and then a couple of years in uh, IIT Delhi more or less equal time two, two years one to two years minimum one year they say but you may spend two years I suppose in Queensland also and then here the advantage is obviously you get uh, more exposure and you uh, meet different people and maybe postdoctorate fellowship opportunities and opportunities in Australia also you can explore so that is the benefit or advantage of this now uh, this uh, particular course University of Queensland IIT Delhi joint collaboration program uh, this uh, is the recent forms has come out for that and I think 18th October is the last date to fill this form and University of Queensland is one of the you know top universities in the world and it's ranked it is 46 uh, QS global world ranking may 46 rank is there uh, uh, just to tell you for the comparison sake like IITs are approximately 190 so approximately at 200 rank uh, they are the IITs are at that particular rank not all IITs but still main IITs you can say in that rank so it is 46 uh, QS uh, ranking it has so that means it's a good university if you get into that and this is the program they uh, basically uh, the University of Queensland IIT Delhi Academy of Research program it is called you know so U Q I D A R is the name of this Academy of Research that is one program now how to apply when you go uh, further into this that how you can apply for that then uh, there uh, we will attach the link also uh, for this program with my video and if you go there you can check your eligibility how you are eligible so there are two ways they say uh, for uh, this particular PhD you want to pursue Indians are in basically I student international students they are Indians fall in this category of I students so what are the minimum qualification of I students that also is mentioned so minimum qualification also they have mentioned but do not stick to minimum qualification though they have mentioned that if you are a B tech or M tech even if you are BTEC and your CGPA is 8 and then you can apply uh, good grade score and CGPA 8 after BTEC you can apply and MTEC may they say uh, let's say uh, 6.5 CGPA but that is a minimum qualification if you ask me sir uh, who should apply in my opinion if you are BTEC and your CGPA is 8.5 plus maybe you are from good university uh, top rank university in India or even if you are not but your grade score is good grade score is 650 plus and 8.5 CGPA plus or 8 plus plus gate is very good these two criteria then you should apply in this listen again if your CGPA is 8.5 plus and your grade score is 650 plus then you can apply for this course your chances are there of selection but if your grade score is less and uh, CGPA is also less they have mentioned minimum CGPA for BTEC student is this and not only BTEC if your masters in science MSc if you have or you have masters degree in arts even then you can apply because there are some courses which are for science and arts graduate and they mentioned uh, which courses uh, science or arts graduates can apply whether you are physics or chemistry or your chemical engineer or mechanical engineer they have mentioned all those details but still because it is competitive course one or two students maybe they will take so you need to have good uh, uh, credentials for that so these all uh, are the requirements like you, you can have gate you can have GRE you can have UGC net all these things or inspire scholarship we have uploaded one video on inspire scholarship if you have that you can also apply for that particular situation <clears throat> additional thing uh, which you should know is that uh, minimum two years of uh, one more thing is if you do not have gate score those of you who are working in industries 
they have a good cgpa like 8 i told you you are a btech candidate you are btech student and you are working in industry you do not have gate score but you have two years of professional experience in the industries minimum two years you can also apply for this course but your professional experience there will be interview and you have to do good in the interview listen carefully if you do not have gate but you have industrial experience of more than two years and your btec cgp is good even then you can apply mtech student btec students who are working in industries and have good industrial experience and what is a good industrial experience related to the project which they are asking for then you can apply for that now english language proficiency requirement is not there you are not to write toefl because you are english speaking nation only i mean you have done your graduation in english only so whatever courses you have done you have done that in english so you do not require english proficiency test that is ielts or toefl is not required for you now they have also mentioned of research projects in which you can go eligibility you have checked now find a project how to find a project then preparing preparation of the documentation apply online i will discuss later on but how to find a project so the moment you want to find a project so there are uh, the projects which are on these themes they have given some kind of uh, ideas that the projects are on these themes now these projects on these headings there are so many projects and professor they mentioned i give you this is how they have given the kind of project list and all uh, so project number one is to be handled by a professor in queensland university uh, university of queensland and it delhi professor uh, supervisor will also be there so what is the title of the project and what are the keywords discipline and what is the status position is already filled now so it is not available student is required like second project clearly student still is required so second project is related to let's say new approach uh, to detection of pollutant through hierarchical structured molecular imprinted polymer i mean that is the name of the project so what are the keywords chemical sensor detecting pollutant molecular imprinted so these are the keywords so if you're from background of polymer science or chemistry then you can go and student is required for that and he's the professor sudeep kumar patnaik which is in a department of chemical engineering iit delhi and professor andrew that is australian institute of bioengineering and nanotechnology so that is these are the joint guide for this particular course for you so they, they mentioned all such kind of projects now what you need to do is you need to see all these projects and find out those projects where student is required and you need to see whether you fit in that or not for for example i have taken one uh, particular project like this project uh, that is a uh, particular project i have taken and this project is computationally efficient hardware architect for multi dimensional light field signal processing let's say this is a project and this project ke liye uh, student is required and electrical electronics computer uh, students are eligible eligibility is also given now i found that uh, there is a professor smriti sarangi in iit delhi who is actually heading this project i mean who will uh, uh, take this project students are to work under him and similarly there is a professor chamit that is uh, in the school of information technology and electrical engineering so one professor from uh, australia and one professor from iit delhi so that is how this project is to be done now what i did first i went to the profile of this project uh, professor smriti ranjan uh, sarangi professor and i saw what field he is working in which domain he is working because eventually once you choose the project you have to write a research proposal for the project and then you have to prepare a good research proposal for that you have to go for that so that research proposal which we have to write we need to see how uh, uh, which domain professor is working so i started seeing his domain in which he is working and i found this particular thing that what are his areas in which he is working what are his uh, domain of expertise and you will find that the project when it is floated normally that project is handled by the project professor only if that is related to his domain of research so all we need to do is we need to see what domain professor is working and from there after the analysis we need to make a research good research proposal so the moment you read this what domain uh, professor is working is also into bharti school of telecom technology and all so after you go through this you will get some idea about this particular domain <clears throat> that what are the research going on in srishti group uh, in which this professor is working that also you will understand okay this is the domain which is uh, internet of things etc is going on and he, uh, detail mention of these uh, projects is also there so from these projects you will write something which will be relevant for your uh, projects 
when you have to basically write research proposal for the project uh, which you have to choose in this particular scholarship. So you have to make this project accordingly and then uh, yes you have to write so these are the domains uh, you are uh, uh, to basically go through on the basis of the professor's work and write a research proposal for you. Right, so you need to read three. And then what I did, I went to the another professor. You know, I told you there's another professor. He's uh, from Sri Lanka, and then he went to Australia. So the, the Dr. Chamith, what domain he's working? You need to go through that also, and you need to see what domain he's working presently. So if you go to uh, uh, on internet, if you try to explore on the internet what domain he's working, you will get something. His research areas, his research papers also you will get it. And from there you can make a good research proposal for you. And that research proposal on the basis of that research proposal uh, once you go through the publications of these professors you are going to write a good research proposal of one page or so and on the basis of that obviously what I did was I was going through the uh, basically his research proposal uh, this is publications and I understood okay these are the things which I can uh, include into that so other than seeing the profile of the professors you can do one more thing you can directly Google out the project you can directly write the name of the project on Google and from there you will get some idea like the moment I Google it out what is the uh, basically project title I got something some information I got it so uh, on the basis of that okay uh, light field image processing what what is this all about the moment I started looking at it I will get more information into this so let me summarize what I said whenever such scholarships come like Queensland and IIT Delhi scholarship these are prestigious scholarship because you get a lot of scholarship also and you get opportunity to go to foreign universities also these are competitive and you need to have good academic background like CGPA and GATE score plus you need to write a very good research proposal and how to write a research proposal for that you need to refer to the profile of the professors and you need to Google out on um, uh, that particular topic and you need to get the details of that on Google. So if you add these two things then you will get the details and if you uh, basically make a very good research proposal then the probability of selection is very high. So last date is 18th October any one of you who thinks they can get into this and they like the project links I'm providing uh, of this particular uh, uh, projects and all so you can see these projects and if you think that you can do good in these projects you please apply I hope you have understood this just uh, push it hard because if you want to get really good thing you need to push hard so you do that and you will surely get if you have done your homework properly thank you